hello, 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 everyone. I'm a whole hour early, technically. I'm a whole four minutes early to the time that I said, but an hour early to usual time. <clears throat> so you can count that whichever way you like. <laughs> um, I'm excited to finish this library tonight. I remembered a couple of things that we're going to need in a library, um, so that is actually going to make filling those last two rooms quite easy. Um, and then we just got to do the landscaping, which admittedly will probably take me the longest. Um, and cluttering a couple of the shelves that don't have things on them. I do feel like there's some stuff that we can put in the walls and stuff. We have more shelves to put down probably as well. Um, which means there will be more spaces to clutter as well. Uh, but I'm excited to get into it. I feel like I, I can maybe finish the whole house in just one day. Um, which is the goal. It's, it is the, the ultimate goal. The penultimate goal. <laughs> um, so let's get into it. I keep forgetting we're building it in the actual world. Because I'm going to have them go here a lot, I think. Because I'll, I'll, pretty much all of our family reads books right now. Um, so it just seems like we might spend some time here, you know? Because Melody's a bookworm, and Kaylin technically just brings her book wherever she goes. She has the one book, um, but doesn't mean she can't read at the library, you know? What better place to sit and read <laughs> in the end? Especially if your whole family's there. And Tobias, um, we need a chess table for it to function as a library. Uh, and Tobias needs logic skills, so that's maybe how he'll meet someone, too. He can just start playing chess at the library. Maybe, who knows, you know? So let's go to Manage Worlds right away. Moving on in. Um, where was I building it? It was Windenburg. No. No. It was Brindleton Bay. Because it's right next door to, uh, Kelly's house. It's right here. It's incomplete library, I know. You don't have to rub it in. <laughs> I know. We're gonna get there, don't you worry. It's gonna be a fully functioning library. books and all. Oh, we actually need a lot of things. So, <laughs> um, that's fine, though. We have a lot of space to fill as well. Um, which, first things first, I do think this is not going to be a bathroom, so we can put these things in. Because that makes sense. Um, and then I think that means we need to change the door over here as well, because it's not a public bathroom anymore. <laughs> not everything can be a public bathroom door. Clade, welcome on in. How you doing this evening? She is coming together quite nicely, I would say. This might be one of my favorite builds I've ever done so far. And this one was fully from scratch. This ain't no shell challenge or nothing. This is this is just all me. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but <laughs> I do kind of not like the bathroom walls. I might change those. Um, but the rest of it is is working nicely. How's your evening going, Clay? Welcome on in. Um. So we need desks still. Three desks. Oh my god. I didn't realize we had to have so many. Okay, also, let me turn on BP Move Objects. There is no situation in which I don't need that on. Um, I feel like Dream Home Designer might not be the best desks to use. Doing good, heck yeah. I can't say the can't complain part because that's such, like, I hear that all the time at work. 
<laughs> Every single old person is always like, oh, can't complain, no one's listening anyway. Every single day from like 30 different people. <laughs> Some one square desks, that might be the move um, for a library. Oh my god, and it has books in it too. Oh, that's beautiful. Incredible. The computer room. Although, I wonder if these have good wood swatches, because I'm a little worried. Oh, incredible. Incredible. Why are these... Did I shade these the wrong color? No? Is there just a lighting issue? Why do those ones look funky? Why is that an issue all of a sudden? That was not an issue before. I kind of don't like them if they're going to be like that. As much as I love bookshelves to the top. They are just the tiniest bit clipped into the ceiling, but they weren't doing that earlier, which is why it's funky to me. They were all fine earlier. But like, now they won't do it? Silly. It's questionable. I don't know if I love it. <laughs> um, let me get a full one. Put it there. And we'll get a couple of the somewhat empty ones. And then one of the empty, empty ones. Because I don't want to have to clutter too much. I'm going to have to put clutter in a lot of these shelves is the thing. <laughs> I can't just let all of these shelves be empty, empty. Um, however, can we build these in as well? They're slightly shorter than the bookshelves, which is annoying. But if we can make it sort of like these are like... in built in maybe I don't know maybe just having it in the center like that is better and we just push it back Actually, though, we only need three desks. We don't need a fourth one. So maybe this one can be up against the wall like this. And we can do... Mm, love the built-in desk experience. <laughs> I do kind of want it to be... in the center of this, I guess and then push back as far as I can. Mm, no, it needs to move over a little bit. It needs to look like it's in there. Like it's in there. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna need chairs, but I don't know exactly if this desk is gonna stay like this, because now I feel like I kind of want to do that makes me want to do a sofa there, but that would ruin the chair for this desk, so... Maybe... actually... <gasps> Hold on a moment. Yeah, let's just get rid of the whole cross thing, I guess. What if we just do this? It's three next to each other like that. 
Why is that one taller than the other two? What's going on there? And then we grab some of these across the top. That. Actually, you know what? Get rid of that. Let's get a second full one. We can splurge on a full one, honestly. And then maybe we can get a pillar to fill in in there. Just to make it look like complete, complete. If there's just like a... Um, like a square pillar that's the right color. Hmm, not that one. I think that's the one I just tried, yeah. I don't know if that's going to be an option here. <laughs> um, Cause I also can't alt place that, which is kind of a bummer. I wish you could alt place these, but it's just only at the, the corners, I guess. I wonder if there's any... I don't think there's anything like debug or anything that I could like shove in the sides there. No, I think I might just have to accept that that's, that's just how they're going to look. Um, it's fine. With more stuff, I'll forget about it. We only need two computers, but I think we should have all three. And maybe we won't go all out on the computers. We'll have some okay ones. We'll have the immersive bend. Those ones have cute swatches, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we can do a pink one, a red one, and a purple one. Although I think I want to do red in the center and pink on the left. More of a gradient. As much as we can gradient with these three colors. <laughs> um, we need five desk chairs? Why do we need five desk chairs? What do you need five of them for? You only need three desks. <laughs> <laughs> um, God, we have more of like a deep green vibe this time, um, but I don't know if that'd be caught by the filter of green, because I don't know if it's classifies more as like blue. Those aren't desk chairs. We have to go specifically to desk chairs. Mm. This one's kind of the right color. I kind of don't love the vibes of that, though. No, 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 <laughs> I think um, we're going with that desk for sure. I shouldn't have deleted it, probably, um, unless, is there a better one that's a one-seater? I think we need to do one over here, one over here. Maybe a bit of bookshelf underneath here. Like one of, okay, door, why did you suddenly show up? <laughs> one of these, maybe. Um, and we can build these into those. And 
and then I maybe won't hate the desk situation in here. <laughs> we can put a desk somewhere else as well. We don't have to have all three in the same room. Um, in fact, do we have room upstairs for anything, really? Not particularly, no. I forgot about that. That's all right. Um, we still have one other room over here. We can have a desk in there. And let's get, let's filter by blue this time and see if that like shade of green is really just caught up as like blue. That's a garden chair. How is that a desk chair? This is close. I might use that. We'll put those down at least. And then we'll get the computer back as well. Although this time I think I'm just gonna use the all-in-one powerful PC. Cause it's kinda it kinda fits in. It doesn't it doesn't stand out. <laughs> We need a trash can somewhere in the build. Um, where, what do we have here? Maybe it should be in the bathroom. That's where this can be instead. Cause I didn't, I remember not loving that. Um, that is like a trash can, trash can. <laughs> And then if I remember correctly, if we, like, raise that up a little bit, maybe. No. That doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to. No. That's fine. Just that's good. <laughs> um, let's see here. We need three more desk chairs one more desk and a chess table so let's grab the chess table just to get that crossed off there's one with that like kind of that same shade of green that's impressive honestly <laughs> um i think we can have that outside back here that feels correct to me and then i know there's actually yeah this one comes in like a in that same shade of green Honestly. Perfect. I love that. And that's a nice little back porch activity. Um, get rid of that grid for a moment. Um, so all we need is, actually, we only need one more chair and one more desk. That's perfect. We can probably just fit it in this room still somehow. I'd have to block the window probably, though. Let's get rid of these for a moment and grab another one of these. Is that worth it? just that but then maybe we try to build in some bookcases in between that's not gonna look good um <laughs> maybe ooh, wait a minute do these size down well panda welcome on in how you doing this evening are there square desk in the corner oh like over here I just feel like that's a bit of a tight squeeze. I kind of like the more the idea of them along the wall. Um, they don't have a printer, though, by the way. Maybe, maybe what we do... No, because that ruins it. 
I was gonna say maybe we can move the window to the other wall, but that ruins the the front of the build pretty pretty heavily. I did think of something while I was out and about though that I wanted to do, so let me do that real quick. Since I gotta use this plant literally every single time I build, um, and I know the perfect place to put them on this well. Spruces it up outside without it being too much. <laughs> Ezza, welcome on in. Oh yeah, it's starting to look really cute. I, I think I'm going to actually come here a lot with my sims. Um, especially because a lot of my sims right now are like avid readers. Like they want to read books. So a library, may as well. <laughs> Other type one square desk just as an end table somewhere else. Hmm, maybe. Just have this somewhere, somewhere not there. <laughs> um, you know what? Maybe without we can have that over here instead of this chair again. We can pop this like right here. The tiny living desk. Um, you can filter, filter by tiny living, right? Yes, you can. I'm smart. This one. Oh. Okay, yeah, hold on a minute. Let's put everything back real quick. Um, yeah, that one might work instead. If we just do this. So that way we still have a window. And the, hopefully this one has an alright swatch. I like that one, I think. It stands out a little bit. Um, thank you, S. I appreciate that. I'm doing good, though. I appreciate that it's the weekend and I get to just fucking do nothing all day. Um... And I'm also very proud of how far I've made it into a build in just one day. Usually this much, like, detail and everything takes me, like, seven days to pull together all at once. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy of the progress I've made so far. Um, maybe we have to go with the dark one, though. I don't know. I like the tiny living desk. I just wish I had better swatches. Because I don't think we have another single desk that is going to work at all. But I like the look of this one. I just don't like the color. You know? Maybe instead of um... No, just kidding. Maybe we can put one of these back here, and we can just have the two desks in this room. And we'll have... Actually, I wonder if... Because I thought about this when I when I was building this room originally with the, the ones over here. Um, what if we use that new built-in couch over here? Um... This one. Oh, that fits perfectly. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I want to hang out here. <laughs> I want to visit this cafe. Um, and then I think we need to reuse this again. But maybe, maybe have it like that. Because I think your sims can still use everything in here. I think they can maybe... I don't know if they can get to the couch, though, actually. Heck yeah. Let me see. Pfft. <laughs> 
fetch times. Oh my goodness. And the cats. I love those. I'd hang those up in real life. Oh my god. I gotta start getting, like, actual wall art. The only thing I have hung up on my walls are paintings that I've done, um, in the past. I don't even paint anymore. <laughs> I can't say I'm a painter, because I'm just not... I think they'd have that sort of table in this room. Like, a small one. That's so freaking big. But that's too small. I don't know. The blue in this matches, I guess. And the gold isn't super out of place considering all the gold like detailing that we have around. It just doesn't feel like the vibes. Maybe it will with something on it though. What if what if um we got that new like basket with a book in it, the one without the plant. Like like I think it's this one, but without the plant in it. No, you know what? Actually, if any of there was, if ever there was a place to use the one that has a mug on it, it would be right here. I think we'll go with that one. And we'll kind of scoot it in a little bit to the couch. Um, actually, does that size up well? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, yeah, it is therapeutic. I always feel like I'm forgetting something at first, I will admit. Um, when I when I put it on the gallery, I, it's usually like right after where I'm like, oh, there was a thing I meant to do. <laughs> um, but I, I do love finishing a build. There's something about it. Wait, why does that work so well in here? The werewolf rug continues to be the best rug in this game. Any single room I build, I'm like, let's try the werewolf rug, and there's always a swatch that works. There's always a swatch that works. Because <laughs> I think this one would work, too. I love the green swatches. Mm. I think I like this one more because it's got the blue that's kind of more prominent in this room than that room, but it keeps the green sort of thing. So it's not straying like we're just, ha we have the blue room and the green everything else, you know? <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, I had two of these. I don't know why one of them got taken away. Um, let's see here. We can clutter the desks a little bit as well. Just kidding. That doesn't slot onto there well at all. Neither does that. Okay. Noted. Maybe, maybe, like they had over here, we can have the bookshelves that hold some things. I think in the yellow swatch in this room. Um, and we can have like the the headphones and stuff that we were looking at. Desk clutter. Um, or not. I 
definitely want to put some books up on the top there. That feels correct. Candles? Candles wouldn't make sense on top of a bookshelf. <laughs> and I don't mean like a shelf that has books on it. I mean a shelf that is a book. I don't think you would put candles on that. Something tells me no. That's actually a really nice vase. Sized up, does that work in the corner here? No, it feels a little too much, I think. There's the headphones. I think they would provide headphones at this library for the computer usage. Um, and let's see here, what else would this room need? Bookshelves? <laughs> More bookshelves, maybe? Actually, if we get rid of these... Bookshelves... Maybe all the way to the ceiling in this room, actually. And then we can make these kind of fit underneath. That looks nice. But I think we need a plant in the corner as well. Or something in the corner. Do we have anything else that would make sense? No, I feel like I feel like it would probably be a plant. Oh, that's funny. I didn't actually think that that would be classified as a plant because it was classified as clutter. But I guess it is. These are cute, and I might want to use these out front. Um, so we'll put two of those out. But I don't know if they'll stay or what the what the vibe is. I haven't done landscaping. I haven't thought about that at all yet. So <laughs> uh, we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. Oh, that's kind of cute. If that comes in a better wood swatch, yeah, that actually might be the vibes in this room instead. I can shove that into the wall a little bit more and not have it be weird. That looks pretty nice. And we'll just make the door there. And I think we can move on from there. Um, and we'll have the other desk over here, which is, I think, the last thing we need is the desk with the chair. <coughs> um, but does this have a better swatch? Yes, perfect. 
because I don't think I want this one to be built in. I think I want this to be like um, an actual secretary's desk, maybe. Like we have that and maybe like a counter over here with a door that they can get through. Like it's an employee space, but um, obviously no one's going to work here. <laughs> Something like that. Maybe with a better counter, though. I wish these came in more different swatches, because they're really cute. I love the vampire counters, but they're just no good. I don't know. I don't think any of the co the counters match the vibes. But we need to have another desk in here. So maybe in here we can do a long desk. If I want it to be too wide like that, that might just have to be the move. <laughs> the mega desk, even. Hmm. Maybe up against the wall instead. I was thinking having it be like a secretary's desk, so if you enter in from back here, there's like somebody working, you know? But I guess it in the thing, the librarian will be walking around anyway. They're never going to sit at the desk, sit at the desk. So I don't think it matters <laughs> in the end. Um... In which case, though, we can use whatever desk we want. And I might just go with this one. Because it's kind of understated. Actually, does this wood at all come to swatch that matches these? That's like close, kind of, but it's not, it's not there. No, I think it's probably this one. This one seems to be the closest to what I want here. So let's get a chair. And this one can be different from the other chairs that we have because it's in a different room. So it really doesn't have to match at all. <laughs> um, maybe one of these if there's a good swatch for it. Or maybe just this. I feel like I use this chair a lot, though. Maybe this, because I thought that that was the close enough color. And for a desk like this, you would want a rolly chair. I love my rolly chair. I do actually roll around in it instead of standing up sometimes. <laughs> if I have Charles on my lap, there's no way I'm standing up. In this one, we can actually get, like, desk clutter. Because there's, like, space on there. <laughs> um, but I did think that they would provide the headphones, so let me grab a pair of those. Because those definitely are a must for a library. And then this one would probably have some, like, writing utensils and stuff. There was like an open notebook 
two that we can have. Because it's another book. Um, and we just don't have enough of those. So. I, I My hand is forced. <laughs> Mm, there it is. Is that going to interfere with using the computer, though? It might. It's alright. It looks good. The moose bouche cow plant. <laughs> Put the little mini cow plant in the build. Oh, it does not size up or down very well. That's unfortunate. That's kind of tragic, actually. Um, we could put a pile of books on this desk, I guess. Someone's been doing their research, you know, at this one. They're keeping track, they're writing it all down. And we'll get a nice rug. I don't want to use the werewolf form again. It might it might wind up that way. We might <laughs> come back to the werewolf rug. But I'm willing to bet that there's a swatch that works in here. There almost always is. I don't hate that. I kind of don't love it either. Oh, I wonder if there's a nice square one that'll fit in here. Or maybe we can use the one that came in the book nook kit. Let me filter by kits. There it is because I found out that it tiles well. You can like do that and have it look good still. And I think that that's kind of fine. That looks nice actually. It's a little bright. We haven't really used white anywhere else in the build. So maybe I should choose like a darker neutral color. Um, I don't know, I don't love that. Let's try the werewolf rug. <laughs> Let's throw it down there. I actually kind of don't love the werewolf rug. The size is off. It does not work. I think that's a first. <laughs> it feels like one at least. I don't know if I can use that same rug again, though. Maybe in a different color. You know, actually, this, like, tan and green one, it feels not bad. Although I feel like the chair is just a little much in here now. I feel like I want a less, less out there chair. This is The Sims in its truest form. I spent hours deciding on that chair, and I choose a rug, and I'm like, no, I don't like that chair anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with what I know, I guess. If we use this chair. It's the same color as the old one, um, but I think it would work better. You know? <laughs> it just works, works with this room. May as well. 
I think I probably need a little rug over here, honestly, as well, now that I'm thinking about it. That's kind of cute. I wonder if it... No, sized up, it doesn't look good. Okay. Um, we'll try this, maybe, um, and see if we can't get a better rug. Because size-wise, this is a little more correct for what I'm looking for. Um... But I don't think the swatch is on this. Actually, that's not bad. The original tan. Realm of Magic one's a little too big. Although, size down. It is a little much, though, for going on on one rug. She's just got a lot going on. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, and then we got a couple of, like, mystical ones that I don't think I'm going to work in a library. <laughs> um, so maybe we stick with the wicker. Or maybe, maybe just this once we can use a rug twice and have this over here as well. Even though it a little bit clips into the wall. It's fine. Actually, no. I liked, um, I think this one the most. But sized up, it didn't work. So we just have to do this, I guess. Make it look good like that. Um, what's next, then? We have all the requirements, finally, for it to be a cafe. I guess we should finish this room a little bit. Maybe we can shove that in the corner and there c it can be... <laughs> I feel like I'd hate these words by now. Built in. Um, <laughs> we can put a little bookcase right here. I mean, the thing is, there's no such thing as too many bookshelves in a, in a library. Like, it, it all makes sense, you know? <laughs> um, I'm not all that worried about overkilling it. It's, it's how many desks can you actually build in before it starts being a little too much. <laughs> actually, does this one come in a wood that matches a little better? No. That's alright. That's fine. I'll deal with that. There would maybe be... Like, another piece of furniture that would have books in it here. That's not, like, a bookshelf. Um, and then I think over here... They would have... The coat rack. And maybe umbrellas and stuff as well. Where is the coat rack?
There it is. Oh, maybe not right in front of the door, actually. Right here is the better spot. And then, um, I guess something on the wall over here? A painting or something? Some sort of book-related thing, perhaps? I like this a lot, actually. I think that's really cute. The tree of food. Although, actually, I'm feeling like maybe... This should be more like... This. How is that still attached to that? I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Thank you, Sims, for these bookshelves. They're the worst. I love them. And then there's another wall decoration that I'm thinking of for in here, maybe. I can't remember if I took it off of the other part of the build already, um, but I do think it's not hanging anywhere in the build anymore. Is it not in here? Ah, there it is. Size that down, and that works perfectly in there. And it matches the, the colors that we've got going on in here, kind of. It's a different wood swatch, but at this point, I've... whatever. <laughs> I don't even care. Um, I don't have the ability to care. <laughs> so I think at this point... Because um, I don't know what else I can put into this room furniture-wise. I think we're done with the main meat. Of, of the build. I think we're down to just clutter and then landscaping. Um, which are going to be the two hardest parts. <laughs> the two parts that probably take the longest, realistically. Um, and maybe something else on the front porch as well. I feel like we do. I do have to put something else out here. We can definitely do these, like, barrel plants here, because those feel very public placey to me. Although they look a little cartoonish in some of these swatches. I guess that sort of matches. Maybe there's better ones than those. Thanks, I thought so too. Something about a built-in fireplace is is so cozy and so nice. <laughs> I would read here so often, I think. Um, maybe we can put like a little radio up here or something too. We're still gonna have to clutter. Um, but I, th I think this is coming out to be one of my favorite builds. I might like this over the cat cafe, honestly. <laughs> It's starting to come together really well. Mm. That's cute, but I don't know if that's the library vibes. Oh. I 
Stuff like this, I always wonder how you're supposed to use this. Like, is it landscaping? Am I supposed to do, like, this? As, like, my, my bushes for the place? Because that looks funky to me. I don't like that. But how else are you supposed to use these things? Actually, do I like that? Do these have swatches with, like, flowers in them or something? No, just different bottoms. I do kind of like that, actually. If I scooch them back. they were coming through coming through we'll just scooch those all over a little bit and then we'll scooch all these beautiful well i answered my own question with that one i guess <laughs> that's how you're supposed to use these um for public place stuff and it's fine that they don't quite Actually, if I do that, yeah, they're pretty much touching back there. That's good. We can do it. That's nice, yeah. And then maybe the trick to adding some color like to that, like how I wanted, is that we have to maybe take something like this and just like position it the correct way through here. that look good sprinkled through here? I don't know. Maybe, maybe a different one. Actually, that kind of works. like gives them a little bit of color in there. The question I, I guess becomes can you tell once everything is all like mm. you could tell. I don't like it. It's an interesting thought. <laughs> Sometimes you fail at things though, you know? Not everything can be a winner. Actually, would this be a winner if I position them like that? Because then we get the the bulk of the bush being in the base, but then the um, flowers themselves can all be kind of bulbous and together. Mm. 
I don't know. I don't think I like it. That's fine. I think we might go simple with the landscaping. Um, like we, I think we're gonna stick with the birch trees here that they have at Brindleton Bay. Um, if I can find it. There it is, okay. <laughs> I think we might even do two out front like that. We have a very symmetrical look going on out front so far. It would be kind of silly to, to throw that away now. That's symmetrical right now. Push those out by one each. Um, let's get some flooring for going across here. Um, not wood. Stone, maybe? Some nice passageway leading up to the library itself. Oh, you know what actually would be nice, maybe? Is this from the garden pack. Just some nice brick. With some stuff growing up in between. like that very much. Maybe let's put terrain paint down for a sec, because obviously whatever we have here is going to have a little bit of terrain paint around the edge. And actually, that is starting to look pretty alright, actually. Yeah, I think maybe with the terrain paint. I like that. Makes it a little more realistic, for sure. Um, I don't know if I want to have a path going to the backyard, or I don't even really know what I want to do with the backyard, honestly. What other sorts of trees do we have around? Looks like we've got that like hawthorn tree sort of. And I don't know what these ones are. But we could have one of these in the backyard somewhere. Maybe down in the corner over here. Because the thing is, I don't know how much of this area I do want to have, like, an outdoor thing. A library feels like a very, like, you're indoors, you know? I don't think we need a playground or anything. Cozy, welcome on in. How you doing this evening? We're doing the finishing touches. I think we're all, all decorated in here. I think we might need a little more clutter on some stuff. But for the most part, I think we are quite solid on what's going on. Everything's all good and good and in there. <laughs> but now I'm on landscaping and you know how that's gonna take me seven years. I haven't even turned on debug yet. Um and I'm already stumped. Would they have like a fence maybe? Around this? Maybe like one of these. 
Like, not a big one, but like... Just a teeny tiny fence. I want to like this fence so bad, but it's so not good. <laughs> I like this one as well, but I don't know if it suits the vibes. Gotta love some better landscaping. <laughs> Yeah, that's cute, but I don't think it works. Maybe we do the hedge. Is this a hedge build? Do we have a hedge? Does anyone around us have hedges? They've got like a fenced in backyard at the vet. And they've got like stone walls going on over there. Okay, okay. Hold on a minute, I'm getting ideas. What if we did that same cobbled wall? That's not the same cobbled wall at all. Do we have that wall at all? Oh, that's gonna go right past our trees. <laughs> Maybe... Like that? Is this centered? Because now I don't think these trees look very symmetrical. But they're in the same spot, supposedly. I have one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that, well, that would be it. That would be why the trees don't look centered, because the building is not. Shift everything over one to the left. <laughs> doesn't matter that I just alt placed all this. I don't even care. We'll fix it. We got a whole lot more to fix real quick. Well, now they're symmetrical, at the very least. Um... Hopefully, no, they're not even close to touching there. The angles. You gotta catch them from all the right angles. Make sure you're lining things up correctly. Oh, and you know what? This has gotta go. And then we gotta re-terrain paint here. We gotta re-terrain paint practically everything. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> um... should go up to those, actually. Maybe these should be like this. Yeah, that's alright. And we'll put down some dirt along the edges here. all along the house. 
I want to be able to tell where this baby was, even if the house wasn't here anymore. Beautiful. Um, do I want the fence to go all the way around, though? It kind of seems like they have fences that just have, like, gaps in them as well for people to walk through. So maybe we'll have all the way back to here. We'll move the tree. Have a full back here. And then we'll have another gap, like, here. So that way your sims can enter and leave from a couple different sides of the building. Um, bushes on the left are a little further away from. No, you're right. They're, they're, a, little, they're a little shifted to the left here. Yeah, that's a little better. We'll shift these over a little bit too. Yeah. That's a little better for sure. <laughs> um, and let's see, what other types of, of landscaping do I think I should have around here? Because I think I want to keep it simple. <clears throat> Public lots don't feel like they would have like super intense landscaping, you know? Especially, like, a library doesn't have the money to, like, take care of a huge thing of landscaping, you know? They'd probably just have some, some bushes or whatever <laughs> around. That's not in the building, right? Oh, it is the tiniest bit in the building. If I bring this out the tiniest bit, it won't even you won't even notice. Although should this start here, maybe? No. Starting at the edge of the porch makes more sense to me. I've gone kind of simple with the last couple landscapings, but it's also been not my fault. <laughs> Public places don't have great landscaping. And I'm also trying to make this one sort of fit in with um, the world around. though. Simple but nice. And then I think we would have that same greenhouse patio coming out and going out over to this side of the lot. Even though it's just going to cut off um, because that's how The Sims is. It's whatever, you know? <laughs> this is the end of the lot. That's all that we can do about it. And then I don't really know what to do with the backyard here. I don't feel like we really need like seating or anything like that, honestly. Like, what, what else could we have out here, you know? What sort of outdoor furniture do we even have that would suit a library? Maybe a bench or two? And 
the bench of beauty, even. I think we could have a nice picnic table out here, I guess. Maybe in the corner here. I'm trying to think if there's a better bench than these, though, because these are all right. But I don't know if I love them. We definitely have a nice trash can on the outside here. And maybe some statues and stuff. You know, I didn't even think about statues. Libraries do tend to have, like, historical sort of shit like that. <laughs> like a jar from a separate continent. All that sort of, you know, historical stuff. Although I did not really leave room for any of that. Um... I don't know if we'll have room. Maybe we can have some of these in front of some of the artworks. So it's like a little thing explaining about them. Mm, just kidding. I don't like it. <laughs> I do, however, know that we're going to have to clutter in here with stuff very soon. So I should grab some clutter stuff while I'm thinking about it. That's a pretty cool skeleton. I don't know what sort of build you would ever use this in, but I love it. <laughs> International club banner. I feel like libraries have this sort of stuff like out front, you know? Little like banners and stuff. Kind of like maybe the blue one. Museum field next? Maybe. <laughs> oh, you know what? We could have these like jars and things outside. Is that the vibes? I don't know if that's the vibes. I think this is the vibes, though. Whatever that is. <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to say. I like it. I would love to redo the community lots in the world. I like some of them. Some of them are okay, but some of them are really funky. And it would be nice to just kind of um, have nice ones. <laughs> Put a nice bird bath in the center over here. Maybe we can put um, the fairy and the gargoyle out here and have them be, like, art pieces that are on display at the museum. And then these can have, um... These 
that little thing that I was like, maybe the paintings can have. We can have those in front of these. Because that feels like a library to me. Like, that feels like someone would, you know, the artist that made these, there would be like a little blurb about them and like how they chiseled them or whatever. <laughs> And we could put some landscaping in between them. A nice bush or something. A nice, huge chicken bush. <laughs> Ooh, actually, maybe this tree. Because I fucking love this tree, even though it's really funky. Maybe size down, though. No, that's a little too much. <laughs> Is that right in front of that? No. That's in front of that now. Actually, that fits quite nicely. Yeah, I think I like that. But then is there bushes that sort of match that vibe? I guess we might have to do these the rest of the way around. And we'll just poof, scooch that out a little bit. getting scooched further and further out. It's going to get scooched all the way into the building at this point. At some point, I want to do um, that challenge that a lot of people are doing, too, where they're rebuilding all of Newcrest. I think that'd be really cute. I would love to rebuild Newcrest. to these two and we drag this out because that way it's not clipping into the building at all hope this place hires a gardener it is a lot of hedges <laughs> um but you know what i think it's worth it <laughs> they can hire melody that's that's the story reason why we're here all the time <laughs> starting to look nice and maybe we can get some nice um like some of the wild flowers where are those these yeah maybe those behind here a little bit like that just to make it a little more friendly back here <laughs> Um, I don't know what else to do. I 
I don't know what else you would even have outside of a library like this. Can this fit nicely down here? Maybe like that, and then this whole area gets turned into that. And we terrain paint along the edge of it. Actually, for here, we'd probably just put it across here. Nice patio area. I don't know if I want to put a grill in. I don't feel, know if that feels like a library thing. <laughs> Maybe we can put um, the cauldron. A nice pink and white cauldron, oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to play around with the spellcaster thing at some point. It does seem like it's probably fun. But honestly, I think if this place has any grill, it would probably be these. We can have a little bit of a barbecue area back here, why not? And then there should probably be... Like, some planter boxes with plants in them as well. Maybe that's what's stopping you from walking this way. But when I say planter boxes with plants in them, I don't just mean, like, planted plants. I mean, we should put one of these in here. Something like that. That's cute. this part now though not like a tall one but like one of the probably probably even this little wrought iron fence like this along just like right here and then maybe just along here as well God dang it, house. I just want to look at this through the walls. <laughs> and then... What else could we have out here? I wonder, actually... just have like a little bit of like a fish pond or will they use this as a pool that's what it is a fountain and 
maybe we get rid of this. And make it like a fountain fountain. Actually, maybe it's just one of these falcon fountains, actually. Something like this. Oh, but that's not gonna... Mm. Ankush, you've spent 118 hours. That's wild. Welcome on in. How you doing this evening? And for almost two years now. Holy cow. That's strange. That means I've also almost been streaming for two years. Oh my god, wait a minute. Is June or July my stream? Hold on. Because my... I always forget what what t day I started streaming until someone accidentally reminds me like this. <laughs> this is what happened last year. Um, let me look at my analytics real quick. And let's go, or my overview. And let's go to it was 2020. And it was what October or September maybe. Let's go here. Why wouldn't it let me go there? Okay, I'm gonna have to click back through it. <laughs> you remember the day you found me? I don't remember the most, most, uh, the way that most people found me, unfortunately. There's a little too many of you for me to remember all of that at this point. <laughs> Some people I remember vaguely. Um, I did play Minecraft back then. I also didn't stream a whole lot back then. Okay, no, it's October. That's my stream anniversary. That's right. October 22nd was the first time I ever streamed. It was, uh, we're approaching, I think, when I hit affiliate? Is June or July? Ugh. Yes. July 14th, I think? No. July 22nd. June, July. So next month is, is when I hit affiliate. Um, that's wild. It'll have been two years since I hit affiliate. Yeah, absolutely. I trust you. <laughs> Just with the Sims, yeah. Yeah, no worries. We have a nice fountain like that back here. That'll be nice. And we'll maybe just have some bushes in between. Actually, can we have that and then another bush? That's kind of cute. Huh. Are you... That doesn't look like the EA app, which is, I believe, the only way to launch The Sims these days. Is that what you're using? I might not be able to help you otherwise, because I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not, unfortunately, um, good at technological stuff like that. Yeah, that'd be it then. Unfortunately, you can only open it from the EA app these days. Oh, you know what? A wishing well is so much more the vibes of this place. An old retired wishing well? Absolutely. And I don't think we can have the bushes then. We'll 
put this like there, and we'll have different bushes. In fact, actually, maybe we can do my favorite, the ferns. Because that sort of exactly fits in between here. Actually, I wonder if, um... It's time to turn on debug, is what I'm- what I'm coming down to. Okay, um, and let's go to debug. Specifically, Cottage Living debug. Purple? Why is what purple? The EA app. Is the EA app purple? I don't remember that. There it is. That's what I was looking for. That's a little too big, though. I did think that it would probably be a little too big. But maybe size down and turn to the, the right way here. We might be able to make it look a little overgrown like that. I like it. BP.ho is like, oh. Um, uninstall and reinstall for The Sims? I don't know if that would delete all your progress. I would Google that first before doing so, but I don't I don't think it would delete all your progress. I don't want to tell you that and then have it actually do that, though, you know? <laughs> I don't want to uh, be the cause of your deleted games. That's a nice little way to landscape right there. It fits perfectly. This can go away now. Oh, you know, I forgot about these lampposts, too. Maybe we can use these on the very corners. Although, actually, we're in the cats and dogs world. I wonder if there's good cats and dogs debug for where we are. Like, good stuff that, um, is, like, around us. Like, these lampposts and shit. Hmm. I didn't even think about window boxes for these plants. We do ha I want to make the front porch more visually interesting as well. We're getting there. Friendship fountain, that's so huge. Not much so far, although we do have the, the lamp post, which is nice. Because we can put those around and have it be a little more realistic for the lot. We 
we can scooch this tree back just the tiniest bit. Oh yeah, I would come visit this library for sure. I appreciate that though, Panda. It's always nice to hear. That's like, I think the highest compliment a Sims build can, can receive is that someone in real life would, would take the plunge and visit. <laughs> oh, you know, I wonder if they would have like some sort of like this outside so that you could play your chess game in the dark. And maybe, maybe something on the front one too, uh, but probably not just cats and dogs. <laughs> It's like flickering all of a sudden. Okay, I guess the wire just got bumped or something. <laughs> oh, there we go. Those little like brass ones like that. Paranormal activity, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh no, these green ones, that's the moment. And then, while I'm thinking about it, because we're on the front porch, give me some window boxes as well. We need some sort of, of plant on the front window. Oxidized copper? Yeah, probably. Oh, that's the one. We've kind of got a pink motif for any flowers that we've got going on. Um, drag the roofs out a little bit? What do you mean? Like, um... Like that? Or just, like, the eaves? Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> like... Like that, or... Because I think it could work on some of it. Like, right there, I think that works. That makes sense to me. Um, but on the rest of the build, I don't know if it... No, you know what? I think you're right. I think this is one that calls for that. It makes it a little more visually, like, different. Um, and we can just shift these, which is the only the only issue that it causes. Noise, noise. Um, the gargoyle's head. I don't think we'll need anything else for in here either. Maybe some more window boxes for some of these windows. They really would need a gardener at this point for all the plants that are in this place. That's fine. Okay. Um, at this point, I think we're maybe just down to clutter, because I think the outside feels 
done to me. There's a couple sections that don't really have anything in it, but that's fine. It's a public lot. Some of these, you know, this whole thing isn't filled. <laughs> so I think at this point we're probably just into um, clutter. Clutter, clutter, you know? Filling all these shelves with shit. I don't know if we should have some of these, like, metals and stuff around, you know? Oh, that's frickin' huge. Can we size that down? Not in a way that matters. I want to put one of those on the shelf. <laughs> We can have a snow globe or two. I'm not opposed to um, things that your sims are supposed to find being in a public build because that's not like mine, you know? It doesn't feel like I stole it. <laughs> this is this is just a product of, of there being things in the world. <laughs> I always forget that we have the birdhouse, too. We can put the birdhouse somewhere back here. Or maybe up front. Little birdhouse under the tree. There can be some werewolf stuff in here, too. We'll have this, like, broken pottery shard up there. I could maybe have a basket of cozies somewhere. Did my stairs just disappear? What happened to my stairs? Um... <laughs> what? Thank you. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they disappeared like that. Not really a fan. But it's fine. They're back. It's all good. And I was cluttering. That's why they disappeared. They wanted to distract me from the clutter. I know. <laughs> when is building not ever surprising and upsetting for me? <laughs> Welcome back, Cozy. Why is this like... Is it because I have something else plugged in? It is. That's fine. I can unplug my phone at this point. Um... Oh, we would probably need some of this up by the fireplace. Um... I don't know if that's gonna fit on the ground, though. I don't know if your sims will still be able to sit in this chair. But we can have a little thing of firewood down here. See, this is what I was talking about before. This is the tamed cow plant skull. That's what I was I was um 
looking forward to show you cozy at one point. <laughs> and the jawbone for it as well. It was from the werewolf pack, I was right. It must be a debug item that you can, like, find, though. We have a couple pieces of werewolf pottery up on that one. Maybe a treasure map in the center of this one. Or two. Oh no! I'm getting old. I know, aging in The Sims is kind of sad. Anytime one of my Sims passes away, I'm always like really sad. <laughs> I still miss Bianca, frankly. You love Johnny Zest. <laughs> I think he's actually technically a um, um, a land grab, if I remember correctly. Like family-wise, they actually have him um, related to the land grabs. This is a very werewolf-centered library. <laughs> it's in the cats and dogs world, it fits. It makes sense. Cashew! I loved Cashew! I know, you, I know you're making fun of me, but I loved Cashew. You were the one who doesn't remember the name. <laughs> I don't think they age when you're not playing, though. They shouldn't, at the very least. They're boyfriends, oh my goodness. Scandalous! Oh my god, this is so freaking huge. Hold on a minute, what if we take this plant off? Because I love this plant, but... We already have it somewhere else in the build as well, I guarantee. <laughs> it's kind of nice to have this room be a lot of, like, skulls and stuff, honestly. Cashew never got any screen time. That's not true. Cashew was constantly running back and forth along the screen. <laughs> we were just weren't focused on Cashew. <laughs> An antique stand. That actually might be cute somewhere, too. Your three babies grew up into teens. They grow up so fast. <laughs> this is actually kind of cute there. <laughs> That's screen time. That counts. <laughs> I loved Cashew. Cashew got sick a lot too. And also, we didn't we didn't technically have screen time with Cashew a lot, but Cashew was dirty every five seconds. Bianca was giving her a bath like all the time. <laughs> we did pay attention to Cashew, it just wasn't like on screen attention. Um That's what I'm gonna go with as my defense. <laughs> <laughs> girl Sim has chest hair, hell yeah, we love a hairy girl. This is like no longer clutter. None of these are clutter items.
eco-friendly archway. That's kind of cute. Actually, if that comes in other swatches, that might be a nice entrance way to the build. No, no, it looks better without it. <laughs> Will this cask fit on one of these shelves? I do like the look of that. It's a little bit squished in there, but that's fine. I could definitely put a scroll or two in here. I know, Felix is forever my one of my favorite pets, I think, just because the raccoonness of it. <laughs> the bizarreness of the fact that that was our first pet, you know? I do need another raccoon. We, we kind of didn't get the chance to get one this time. And we've never gotten the chance to get a fox as a dog, either. Um, I think we should do that at some point. Hopefully the next time we get a dog, it'll be an option. I am using these, like, thousand dollar things, by the way, because this is a public lot. I don't think any of you will be paying for it. Um, if you are paying for it, my bad. Sorry, I just added 10,000 to the price. <laughs> it's worth it to have things be cluttered. Well, placing things on these things is actually more difficult than most regular things, as much as it's terrible to admit that. Like, they're fantastic bookshelves. I love them. Um, I don't actually know if, if, you, if you do that, if it gives you new options. I feel like it should. But knowing The Sims, probably not, <laughs> honestly. I, I would guess no. We have a little trinket box in there. A little box for my trinkets. What's my trinket box? Issues of interior design magazines, that actually fits well in there as well. Actually, it's a little big, so what if we size it down? Yeah, that works better. Color swatches. I just feel like that's good clutter for the top of that desk. Not the parrot. Listen, we have to include it. <laughs> it's in every single build that I've ever done. Uh, it has to be here. <laughs> it's subtle. It's it's nice, you know? It adds a lot without adding a lot. <laughs> um, we can have a little pencil holder out here. I feel like we could have, like, um... Like, kind of like a guest book um, out here. 
that we could put on top of here, maybe. And we have this little record thing that fits. I found, I think it was Izzy I was watching earlier, that the records fit perfectly in the shelves like this. Um, which is lovely. We'll put some puzzles and stuff in there as well. We actually have a lot of puzzle options. That's a little too magical. We can probably have the chess kit over here, because we have the chess table over here. So it makes sense to have some, some other way to play chess if that's taken up. <laughs> um, and there's the notebook that I want to have, I think all placed like right here so it's like a little like sign up book for something I don't know libraries do that sometimes you can use it to like tell someone you've been to the library I don't know <laughs> um, that's exactly how I feel about it Ankush thank you <laughs> Oh, and there's a candy jar. Oh, that's perfect. There's a lot of different candy jars. And we can have the pen for signing of the book. I like that a little better than, than this. That's a little funner. Oh my god, there's a clutter item that I'm missing, too, that would be perfect for this that we got in the new kit. Um, stack of books. No, that's not the one. Stack of dirty dishes, canvases, scholarly stack. That's gotta be it. No. That wasn't it either. I have an easy way to do this. Kit show all. I will find it. <laughs> There's not that many items in the kits. There is a bunch. There is a lot. Um, but not too many for me. You know, I don't think I use this anywhere in this build. Right there is actually perfect for it. Did I miss it? I must have. 
Um, it's a little too tall for, for here. So we can put the speaker right here. And where did I miss the, the stack of books? It literally has to be in here because it's from it's from a kit. <laughs> hmm. What the hell? Am I blind? There it is, it's called the pile. So I realized that I don't have any of this in this library yet, which feels criminal. It feels like these should be literally all over the place. Just pile after pile after pile of book. Something like this, like everywhere. <laughs> old pile in here. Pile on the floor over there. I don't know if there would be a pile in here. Actually, you know what? There's just enough room for a pile right here. And then maybe one or two up here as well. Although I don't think there's a whole lot of room for them. Ooh, wait, they slot to these? Is there any shelves that need filling still? In there, I guess. don't like how they look inside of there. Um, let's see here. What else needs clutter? I think that might be close to it, honestly. Maybe have the hanging plant somewhere in the corner or something? No, even that, I don't know if we can fit it anywhere. I think that might just have to be... Dunskis. Because I can't think of anything else to put in here. Maybe tables out in the front porch or something, but... <clears throat> Did I do I dare finish a build five hours into it instead of 13? I don't know. <laughs> it feels like I'm missing something. Um, let's dig through debug. Let's take a quick scroll. It'll remind me of something, I'm sure.
I am mostly going to skip past, like, beds and stuff. Like, stuff that we probably don't need in a build like this. <laughs> And also, real quick, okay, we do have all the stuff that we need for a library. It is a functional library. Chairs and shit, I don't need it. Couches and shit, don't need it. Oh, these are the fabricated tables that you can make, that Lillian is, is like, building the skill to make. They're kind of cute. I don't think they'd fit in with the with the decoration that we have going on at Tobias's house. Um, but maybe I'll have her make those at some point, just so we have the option of them. End tables and stuff. I don't need it. Shelves. We're already all shelved up in this in this building. <laughs> I think we've got enough shelves, honestly. Um, Now we're getting to the good stuff. Sinks, I guess. Never mind. Toilets. Bathtubs. It's kind of sad that we don't have, like, a square fish tank. Um, crying? Why are you crying, Hibiki? Welcome on in. What's going on? I do kind of maybe want to do a fish tank somewhere in the build now, though. If we have space for it. Which I don't think that we are gonna, because where would I... F where would I still have two squares of space left like this? Not even upstairs, I don't think. No. Unfortunate. Up didn't look like a word. A lot of words don't look like words. <laughs> the English language is built on words that don't look like words, honestly. You ever looked at the word the? <laughs> In, up, on, I, a? Those aren't words. <laughs> and? And is specifically one of those words that I think is really funky because I watched a TikTok about it at one point and, like, we never pronounce the word and think about it like peanut butter and jelly peanut butter and, and jelly mm. i didn't say and it's peanut butter and jelly because if i said peanut butter and jelly i'm over pronouncing it like you notice the difference you know <laughs> it's strange it's one of those words that's like really not a word um and any chance that we get to to not use it as a word we don't <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'd have a little swing set out here, out back, instead of the grills. No, I think we need the... the... We technically don't need Ant. <laughs> I mean, we do. We do. But, like, we also kind of don't. You know how it is, <laughs> with most things. Certain, yeah. They're the more common pronunciations of, of the word, frankly. It's a little too big. There we go. A little 
little knitted cactus. Actually, if I want these to work, what we're gonna have to do is this. Or that. Fill all of them. And then... Now it wants to go there too? Okay, hold on a minute. We'll get there. Okay, now I can all place it where I want to. <laughs> Jeez, sometimes you gotta fill up all the slots first for it to work. Um... And then we'll put the other one here. And then we delete all these other ones. That was the one in the right spot. Okay. Well, never mind. I guess they just live where they live. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I think, on that note, maybe. I don't know if I want to dig through debug for any more right now. I think that this build feels complete enough. Um, and maybe at some point, if I ever think about something I need from debug, I will add on to it because I will probably be spending time in this library. Um, and I believe it's fully functional. Your sim should be able to do pretty, I think everything except sleep here. And even sleep, there's couches. We could, we could maybe, you could nap on them, you know? <laughs> but there's grills out back, there's bathrooms here. You don't technically need a shower. You got computers for fun and everything. You could live here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't think I feel like digging through debug, honestly. So, the gallery is working. Let's save this lot. Cozy library. Koi library. <laughs> koi, koi library is what I typed out at first. Koi library. Um, just cozy library, I guess, honestly. <laughs> Central and affordable. Just waiting to be developed. Um, full of plenty of little nooks to read in or browse the web. I always have to check everything I type these days after I type on the computer because my S and my W key both don't work every time I hit them. Like, they work sometimes. They, they're not, like, dead dead. But if I'm typing anything that has a W or anything that has an S, I have to make sure that I, I typed it, because it will not have typed most of the time. <laughs> um, it's no bedroom, one bath, technically. And I guess that's... You know what? We'll make it a cozy little library. Cozy little library. And we'll share the lot to the gallery. Call it done. It's actually got a nice little front facade here. It looks really, really good from the gallery. <laughs> Which a lot of my houses kind of do not. Um, so. I'm happy about that. And while we're here on the gallery, let's check out how the other ones have been doing. With cats? What do you mean with cats? Cozy library with cats? No, there's no cats in the in that library. <laughs> View catalog. 
Wow, five people downloaded Tobias's house. That's actually kind of um, startling. <laughs> five people saw the orange on the inside and said, yeah, me too. <laughs> The magic cottage was cute. 22 people have downloaded the cat cafe. That's impressive to me. That's, I think, my most downloaded. Or maybe Bianca's house still has more? Yeah, 24. Wild. Strange. Um. But. I think that maybe. That might do it for me. I don't know whether I want to come playtest this first or not, actually. Um. Because I guess I probably should, but I don't know if I feel like playing live mode right now. <laughs> um. You know. I think I'm good on that. I think I am going to... Did I save already? I don't think I did. I think I'm going to call it quits here, because I've also been live for a long time today. I've been live for like a total of five hours today. Um, which is impressive that I finished a build in that amount of time, because I don't think that has ever happened for me. And this is like a detailed build. There are, there are little nooks and crannies that are heavily detailed. Um... So I'm a little I'm a little proud of myself for that. But I do think that this is where I am going to call it quits quits. Um So if you're still here hanging, lurking, chatting, or vibing. Thank you so much. It's been lovely hanging with y'all for so long today. Um And what's tomorrow? T Sunday? Wow, tomorrow's only Sunday, so we, there should absolutely be a stream tomorrow. Um, I might push it to like 11 or 12, um, and we'll see what the vibes are when I wake up. Uh, just because there, there are going to be small children in my house still at that point, because my, my younger cousins are sleeping over. I don't know when they're leaving tomorrow, so I don't know what the, the vibes are. But I will keep y'all updated. I will let you know when I know. Um, and... Till then, I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of the evening. I'm actually kind of a bad cousin, Ann Kush. <laughs> I've hung out with them maybe twice since they've been in the family. Um, so I'm not good at I'm not good at being a person outside of the internet. Um, <laughs> on the internet, I'm great. On the internet, I am. I've got it all together. Um, but in real life, I, I'm a mess. <laughs> I am not personable and i don't like hanging out with people and i don't like leaving the house um so that includes my family <laughs> uh that's the thing is they're still they're still younger kids um and i'm i'm not really a kid's person is the thing uh, <laughs> so you i could probably get along with i can have like an actual back and forth conversation with you uh and it's not like hey look what i can do and you jump over a ball like great buddy <laughs> there's only someone I can, I can keep up that facade for um i will never be mean to a kid but i will not know how to be around a kid <laughs> um but i think that's gonna do it for me tonight so if you are still here hanging i appreciate it um I hope you all have a lovely rest of the evening, a lovely morning till I happen to catch you tomorrow. I'll let you know when that'll be on the internet, on on the internet, on Discord. Um, <laughs> and tell that, guys. Actually, let, real quick, because I did this earlier and I felt bad. Okay. No, no one who I know is streaming, so we're not going to raid. On that note, 